Singapore's Max Maeder will soon compete in the men's kite final in Marseille. If the 17-year-old finishes among the top three, he will become only the sixth Singaporean to win an Olympic medal and the first since Joseph Schooling's swimming gold in 2016. Now, for more, our reporter Alev Amsha joins us live now from Marseille. Alev, it's looking bright and sunny where you are. Bring us up to speed. What's going on in the race right now? Well, Sha, absolutely bright and sunny. And I'm happy to report that the winds have started to pick up or have picked up earlier and now that the semi-final races are well underway. In fact, we know that Austria is now also through to the men's kite foil final together with Singapore's Maximilian Maida as well as Slovenia's Tony Bodisek. The three of them waiting for the final contender before the grand final begins. Uh, barring any weather changes, we hope that the wind will continue to stay strong so that the grand final can take place we know back home in Singapore, you're all excited for Max to feature in that race. Uh, in the grand final, Max, of course, comes into, uh, comes into the grand finals in second place behind Tony Vodisek. He has one race win carried forward from the opening series. To secure a goal for Singapore, he will require two race wins in the grand final. And of course, this is very exciting times. I spoke to Max's uh, mom earlier, just before this live report. She said that she's swelling in pride, of course, as a mom would be. Uh, she's confident of him, uh, of his performance here. She says that even as a young boy, he's composed, his discipline, his focus, all the attributes needed for a successful athlete. But ultimately, this Olympic experience, she says, is not only important for him to share his passion for the sport, but to inspire others to succeed in sport and in other pursuits that they want to endeavour in. Sha? Alif, thank you very much for that. And I'm sure we will be hearing from you again later. Alif Amchad, they're reporting live from the Olympic Games in Marseille. As Singaporeans await the finals with bated breath, our reporter Geraldine Yap is at the National Sailing Centre in Singapore, where anticipation is running high. Jerry, it's good to see you. Strong hopes for another Olympic medal to come home. Uh, give us a sense of the mood where you are. Well, Shah, everyone is very focused on watching the current race in the women's semi-finals. Um, but I can definitely feel the excitement in the air, even with all the multiple delays, uh, you know, resulting uh, from the, the weather conditions, the lack of winds. Um, of course, now that has improved. But, you know, given that a lot of the people here are themselves sailors, they're from the sailing community, they would understand better than anyone else that sailing as a sport is very dependent on the weather conditions, dependent on whether there's wind or not. So, you know, they understand the multiple delays and they're just waiting um, with bated breaths for the final to, to start. So I spoke to the Vice President of the Kite Surfing Association of Singapore earlier and asked him what he thought about Max's chances in the finals today. I think the hunger for him to, 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 to chase and to win is there. And I think there's a fair chance, a good chance as well, that he, he will be able to take at least maybe one or two races, um, you know, on the first or two finals. So let's see how it goes. But I, I believe he has a good chance and uh, we are all rooting for him. That early ten, well, for now, we just have to hope that the wind will continue um, as it is right now and the men's finals will come up after the women's semi-finals. Geraldine, definitely a lot of anticipation in the air. Thank you very much for that. Geraldine Yap, they're reporting live from the National Sailing Centre in Singapore.